I am so glad that we were invited. Oh, I'm so thrilled. I hope Barbie will love my present. Sammy, hurry up. Where are you? We will be late. I'm here. Don't worry. Who? Hey, did you get the present? I sure did. Here it is. We worked so hard on this painting. You don't say. Ah, there's the birthday girl. Hi, everyone, and welcome. Come on, Sue. Let's give her the present. Sure. Gee, thanks, Ken. That is so sweet of you. Could you please put it with the rest? Um, Sue, are you seeing this too? It's like everyone had the same ideas. We need a new gift. Quick, come on! I can't believe it. Everyone decided to give her portraits. You know what that means, Susan? We are predictable. Oh no, sir. We're going to give Barbie the best picture ever. A life-size portrait of me? Great thinking. I appreciate your ideas, but maybe next time, Sammy, we will make something unique and super special for our birthday girl, Barbie. That's the attitude I like. We'll show them all. Be careful with the cutter. Always. Hey! Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Can you help me? Of course! We need three more pieces like that one. Coming right up. I am a master crafter, you know. These are going to be the best circles you've ever seen. This thing is out of control! Sammy, are you okay? Ugh, I don't feel so good. Then sit this one out while I'm finishing here. I am alright. Why is the room spinning? Ugh. Poor thing. Maybe this will make you feel better. Look! All our circles are ready. And we are moving on to the next part. I am the master crafter, too. <laughs> next we need... What is it, Sue? I'm ready to help. Ah. We're gonna need a cork. Or rather, a few circles cut off it. Something like this. Okay, okay. Sammy, this present is gonna blow your mind. I don't know. I'm pretty hard to impress. I've got high standards, you know? I'm aware of that. But that means you only like the best things. Now this piece goes here. And hop! I like it turns out so far. Wow, Sue! You really need to teach me that trick! Amazing! Do you know how to draw mountains? Ah, of course! I will draw the best mountains for you, ma cherie! And our mountains are gonna have snowy peaks. Here they are. I decided to use purple shades. I'm ready to hit the slopes. I'll be the first slime skier in the world. But on the other hand, slimes and snow are not always good together. Yeah. I believe that is the main reason why there were no slime skiers so far. <laughs> you know, I feel really connected to nature right now. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Will you help me with the trees then? I'm on it. Ah, uh, be right back in a sec. This is pretty amusing. I'm becoming an expert in this. Well, what do you say? I say we both are doing a really good job. Let's hope our Barbie will appreciate it, too. Uh-huh, and this goes here. I'm a little bit tired from all the work. Can we take a break? But we've got a party to go to, remember? So, no breaks and more little circles. You mean like these? It feels like I'm having chicken pox. All right, let's make this tree alive. Whew, that was fast. And I made a few clouds to make our picturesque view here even more beautiful. Sure. You're absolutely right. Here we go. It, it would have looked so good in my room. Hey, it's for Barbie, remember? Come on, we need to make more. What? I have an idea for another gift. A real showstopper. You can count on me. Now, where was it? Uh-huh. Nope. I found it. Ugh. This thing is mixed, Sue. Now, we will take this canvas and your brush with glue. Allow me, and we'll do like this. 
Hey, Sam. Yeah? Could you bring some paper? Here you go. It's tissue paper, and I need for painting. You could have said that. Is this better? Yep, thanks. So, Susie, what is it gonna be? I can't tell you just yet, Sammy. Let it stay a surprise for a while. Ah, this color reminds me of the beautiful sea. And this water will remind you of it even more. Now, we'll tear the tissue paper into small pieces and soak it really well. Ooh, it's like a fluffy cloud. Or cotton candy. Hmm. I don't think you want to eat this. Why didn't you tell me that sooner, Sue? Okay, let's add color to it. Otherwise, it's going to look pretty boring. I can't wait to see what this is going to be. No, no, no. Feta, this looks awesome. You deserve a big like from all our friends. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I can see now what this is, Suzanne. May I add a little detail? Of course, be my guest. Ah, this is going to be, how do you say it? Amazing. Wow, it looks great already, but better shape it like a petal. What a wonderful idea. How do you think of these things? I'm just reading off our script. You're ruining our secrets! The viewers don't need to know that! Oopsie, my bad. So, are we done there already? Yes, and it turned just perfect. Barbie will be so surprised with our gifts. I wish someone at least once brought me flowers like these. <laughs> oh, Sammy, you're such a sweetheart. I know! Okay, Susan, this is my time to shine. I have a great idea that's going to blow all the other gifts away. My, my, how confident. What are we doing? I'm ready to help. Uh, we're gonna need these paints, Sue, and something else. I'll be right back. Okay, this time we have traditional materials like the acrylic paints and a painting knife. We can create something magical with them, too! Like a 3D painting! Thanks, Sam. 3D painting? Do we need special glasses to see it? Nope. Just your crafting skills and a tiny bit of imagination. Squeeze out the paints. All right, you've sold me the idea. Let's do it. Friends, check out this vibrant color. And the paint is so thick. And it's great fitness training. I can actually sell it as a fitness machine. Ha ha, but it works for slimes only. Anyway, let's use as many colors as we have. Wow, it's almost like a rainbow. Get ready. Slick Sam is going to share with you a secret technique for a simple 3D painting. Wow, I love the start. Now let's pick colors. Okay, let me think. This one, it looks so pretty. I'll go with another hue then. Look closer. It's the most important part. Smear the paint with the backside of the knife. Like this, you're doing great. Whoa, I guess it's not enough. Just take a little more, like me. Now I'm ready to get started. Let's hope I'll do it right. Just put the painting knife down and push it to the canvas. Got it. Congratulations, Susie. It's your first 3D smudge. Keep going. Now I'm unstoppable. I want more. Okay, that's enough. Let's switch the hue. You can take mine. Let's push down again and smear the paint. Woo! I call this the Sam technique. Just slap it on and hope for the best. It really works, friends. You should try. Sue, it's time to change the color again. Let's take a random color this time. I choose you. What do you think, Sammy? It's so creative. We should have done it a long time ago. How is it going? Great! And check this out. It's like one more painting on the palette. It's a new wave in modern art. And all of this would be impossible without the Sam technique! I am almost done here. You're not even close. It's just the first step. 
Really? Then what's next? We're gonna try this magic cotton swab. Da Vinci himself would be jealous of it. You will be drying out here, and we'll keep going. Hmm, I think we should make something floral again. Then make pick, and I will choose the background color. Give me a second. Maybe I should pick these with white petals. Okay. The background should match the white color then. Great! Or should I choose the red poppies? Red? Okay, we'll go with red then. Nope, I've changed my mind. Let's paint pretty pink roses. Pink! I got it! Here's the background color! Ugh, it was a tough jog. Let's start with squeezing the paint out on the palette. Wow, I love this color! It's like a clear blue sky! The first steps are pretty simple. We'll just apply the paint on the canvas. And then we'll smear it using a wide, flat brush. Easy peasy! This is so relaxing, but I should try to stay focused. Wake up, sleepyhead! Let's move on to the next stage. Finally! Yay! It's my turn to shine! Let me help you, superstar. Susie, a painting knife, please. Thanks! Oh, we're gonna use the same technique as for the 3D painting, right? This time, we're mixing different ways. Be prepared for a big surprise. Let's make paint smudges with the painting knife. my secret art weapon. This doesn't look like a flower at all. Take this and move your hand in spiral circles. You'll be amazed. Huh, it already looks like a rosebud. Told you, you'd be amazed. My ideas are always the best when you do everything right. Someone here likes to brag. Okay, let's enjoy the process then. Give us a thumbs up if you like this technique. We have rosebuds, but no leaves. This won't do. Let's draw some green leaves around, alternating between big and small sizes. Check this out. Sammy has been drawing some leaves, too. Yeah, I don't want to forget my artistic skills. Wait, Susie, I have an awesome idea. I will be quick, I promise. Okay, here we go. Achoo! Oopsie, I guess I ruined the painting. Actually, it turned out great. Sammy, you're rocking today. See? Even my mistakes lead to genius results. parties. They're the things of legends. Oh, there's Barbie. I remember inviting Sam and Sue, but where are they? Finally, you're here. Yes, Barbie, and we have a present for you. Happy birthday. Wow. Thank you so much. That's not all. Look over there. We worked really hard on this one with Sue. This is the perfect spot for them. Thanks, you guys. But I have something for you, too. What is it? Mm. Oh! Um, is that a cake? Sammy is so funny. He's so funny. Whoa! Oh, look where we are! We're in Hong Kong! And we're down at the harbor. How exciting! Oh, look, there are some boats over there. I can't quite see them, though. I think I'll use my binoculars. Yep. Here we go. Ha-ha, <laughs> right. Oh, I can't see anything. What's going on? Wait a minute. These aren't binoculars. These are just two cardboard tubes. These won't be any use for seeing the boats, but they might be useful for something else. 
I've just had an idea. Let's try something. Put cardboard tubes to good use by making a marvellous multicoloured tube and tissue picture. Let's make it. <laughs> now, we're going to need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> mini makers. Now, who's going to help me today? Hi, Mr. Maker. I'm Claudia. Hello, Claudia. I can help you. Oh, that's good news. Everyone else, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, great. Claudia is on her way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> Oh, wonderful! The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our picture. We'll need some paper or card. Some paint. Some tissue paper. Some cardboard tubes. Some scissors. And we'll also need one more thing. That's right, a birthday card. A birthday card? We don't need this. Scraps, how did you get here? Look, we don't need this at the moment. Can you find me a glue stick, please? Go on, off you go, off you go. Oh. Well done, Scraps. Lovely. That's just what we need. Bye. <laughs> We've got a glue stick. Excellent. We've got everything we need. <laughs> Although, it does feel like something's missing. Hmm. Do you know what it is? Um. Uh, oh, it could be. Oh, no. No, uh, no. Um. I'm here, Mr. Maker. Of course, Claudia, it's you. Oh, my friend, it's lovely to see you. You're just in time to help me make our picture. It's a marvellous multicoloured tube and tissue picture. So, Claudia, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, this can get very messy. It's a good idea for this make to put down some old paper or some newspaper first. And actually, I think we should put an apron on. Is that OK? Yeah. All right, then, well, follow me. We look great, don't we? Very nice. And we're ready to start making. First of all, we need to find some cardboard tubes. So can you find one there, Claudia? Lovely, that's just what we need. And we're going to cut these cardboard tubes into smaller pieces. Can you pass me those scissors over there? Oh, well done. We need to be careful with scissors because they are... Sharp. That's right. Your cardboard tube pieces can be any shape or size you like. You could even make springy shapes like this. Carry on cutting to make lots of cardboard pieces. We've even curled some to make spirals. I'm going to ask you to look after these because it's time to arrange our pieces onto our paper or card. Can you help me glue them, please, Claudia? Good job. Keep going until you've stuck down all of your cardboard tube pieces. Our picture is really starting to take shape. Now we need some pieces of tissue paper. And we're going to stick them onto our picture. Keep on adding pieces of tissue paper until you're happy with your design. Now we can make our picture really colourful by adding lots and lots of lovely paint. Claudia, which colour of paint should we choose first? Pink. Pass it over, my friend. Now you can dribble the paint straight from the bottle, like this. Oh. It looks good if you use lots of different colours. And then leave it to dry. We've finished our magnificent multicoloured tube and tissue picture. And if you enjoy that, why not try these other ideas too? You could arrange the tubes in straight lines for a different effect. Or you could even make a shiny picture using scraps of gold and silver foil.
you're going to a firework display, you'll probably end up wearing a pair of these. Wellies, essential but not exactly exciting. But with a little bit of fingertips know-how, why not step out in style in a pair of these? Totally funky, totally personalised, gorgeous decorated wellies. It looks like you've got fireworks right at your feet. They're great fun to make. And they're really easy to do. Just get your fingertips on a pair of wellies. Now, if you're going to use your old wellies, make sure you give them a wash down first. And don't worry if your wellies have pictures on instead of being plain, because you can still jazz them up just as easily. Get a hold of as many shiny sequins and glittery bits as you can. And it's even worth spending some pocket money on some squirty fabric paint. Now, it comes in loads of funky colours and even glitter too. And you can get it from most craft shops. But do have a practice on a bit of paper first, as even drawing straight lines can be a bit tricky with this stuff. There we go. Let's draw a star like that. And, of course, you don't want to make a mistake on your wellies. And it's a good idea if you practice your whole design on paper first so you end up with wellies to be proud of. And we've got a welly outline on our website. If you just click on Top Makes, you can print one off and have a practice. We'll give you that address at the end of the show. And now it's time to copy your paper design onto your actual wellies. Now, I've already started with some stars and now I'm just going to draw on the outline of my first rocket. You can use any colours you want. There's my nose cone. Just get the rocket's body on there too. Some little fins. And you just want to keep going with your design until the whole welly is complete. And doesn't that look brilliant? And as well as all your glitter, you can use PVA glue to stick on your sequins and even your jewels. And you won't want to keep these wellies in the back of your cupboard. Check out our finished designs. Here are the finished glittery leaf wellies our stars and moons, or you could even try making some for your little brother or sister. So get your wellies out, dust them down. And get decorating for bonfire night, fingertip, fingertip style. style. Oh, wow! We're in Australia. Hey, we're down by the sea. And look, there's an aquarium. What a fantastic place to get some arty ideas. <laughs> Wow! Look at all these fish! They're so colourful and all different shapes and sizes! Oh, look at that shark! There's something fishy going on here. I just had an idea! Let's try something! Use salt to make this amazing salty sea picture. Let's make it! <laughs> oh, lovely! Now, We'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Now, who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker. My name is Madeline. Hello, Madeline. I can help you. Oh, fantastic. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, great. Madeline is on her way to help us make the picture. But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we're ready to make our picture by using these arty things. Some sheets of white paper. <laughs> some water. <laughs> A washing up sponge and a bowl. Some food colouring. Some brushes and some pens. Some salt. Some scissors and a glue stick. And last but not least, we also need a tennis racket. A, a tennis racket? We don't need a tennis racket. Scraps? How did you get here? But we don't need one of these, but we do need some stickers, please. So take the racket back. Go on. That's it. Now be careful. Be careful. That's it. Oh, brilliant. Well done, Scraps. Thank you. We've got some stickers! Now, we've got everything we need, but it feels like something's missing. Do 
you know what it is? I'm here, Mr Mega. <laughs> Madeline, of course! It's you! Thank you very much for coming. Now, you're just in time, because we're going to make our picture, like this one here. It's a salty sea picture! Now, this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some newspaper or some old paper first. And Madeline, I think we should put on some aprons. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes. Okay, then lead the way. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look at us. Now, Madeline, are you ready? Yes. Brilliant. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is turn our plain white paper into some patterned paper. Let's use a sponge and some water for this. That's it, Madeline. Now, make the paper nice and wet. And whilst it's still wet, we're going to need some of this stuff. It's food colouring. Now, you can buy food colouring from a food shop, but you might have some at home already, so ask a grown-up to help you. First, we're going to use blue food colouring and spread it onto the paper. Now, whilst everything is still wet, it's time for our special ingredient, salt. Here it is. And when we sprinkle the salt over the wet food colouring, it leaves an amazing pattern behind. Now, you can sprinkle this ordinary salt, or you could even use this. <laughs> rock salt. <laughs> Let's try this, Madeline. Sprinkle rock salt wherever you like. It comes in much bigger pieces and it leaves bigger marks on the paper. When you've finished sprinkling, leave it to dry. <laughs> We've made lots of different colours of paper like this and brushed off all the dried salt. We're ready to start drawing now, Madeline. And what shall we draw? Um, seaweed and some fish. Seaweed and some fish. That's a great idea. I'll tell you what, why don't you take this pink paper and let's get drawing. When you finish drawing, carefully cut everything out. <laughs> Remember to keep one piece for your background. Now we can arrange all of the pieces in our picture. <laughs> And when you're happy with your picture, glue everything down. We've finished! We've even added some stickers for eyes and mouths. A brilliant salty sea picture. And if you enjoyed that, how about trying these ideas too? A salty octopus with orange fish. Or you could even try a wonderful whale in a salty sunset. Why don't you try one of those pictures today? Well, thank you so much for your help, Madeline. We, we made, made it. it! High five! What a fantastic picture! <laughs> what a brilliant, salty effect! Well done, Madeline. Hi! Today, Sam and I are doing a painting workshop. But where is he? I'll call him. What? Ah, uh -huh, here you are. Sue, you're insufferable! I'm in the middle of something here. Hey! my painting. Well, this canvas is not good for the workshop. Then use cardboard. It's pretty good, too. Look, cool stuff, isn't it? Yes, it is. Actually, I have a great idea. Stay here. I'll draw the first character for, let's say, a coloring book. Uh, I can't see anything. Uh, I gotta get closer. Uh-huh. It's my turn. I'm going to color it right now. Not yet, Sammy. Wait a little longer. I'm just going to draw a couple more pictures, and then you will color whatever you want. I have just one picture left. Okay, so now in our zoo we have a turtle, a bug, and a unicorn. It 
It's the same story as always. Sammy and scotch tape. There you go. You can color as much as you want. Okay, Sammy, dive in. All right, I'll make it look so good. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Sue, go faster. Chop, chop. That's it. Is ready. How does it look? Did you know it's a multiple use coloring book? You can easily erase everything and color it again. Awesome! I want more, more coloring. And while Sammy is busy, I can draw on paper. I'm gonna create our favorite slime. Sue, look! Ouch! Hmm. Oh, my beta. I'm so sorry. Never mind. I'll draw on you. Hey! I'm not growing a mustache yet. Here, now you can draw all you want. What can we do about this now? Oh, I have an idea. How about a new hack, friends? Any mistake in a drawing can be turned into a masterpiece. Sue, you've made a mess again. Let me clean it. Sammy, wait. It's not a mess, it's a flower. Check this out. Paint smudges transformed into pretty petals. Should we draw stems too? I'm in. We shouldn't forget about cute little leaves. Holy cannoli! Hurry up, Sue! Let's do some more painting! First, let's get the canvas ready. There you go! Now you can draw anything you want. Hey, that's mine! Yippee! For the cooking show! Oh, wait, wait! We're filming here! Ugh! Oh! That's mine! I'm repairing the house! So... Excuse me. Sue! Get the tools before you steal them! Hey! Who's gonna fix my house now? Sorry, Ken, but we really need this for smearing colors for the background. What is this? Where is this? When will I find it? Huh? It's here! Aha! Uh -huh, the treasure! Hurry up and take it while I'm on the watch! Oh, you found yellow paint. It's just what we need. Thank you very much. By the way, Sammy, can you guess what I'm drawing here? Come on, get in here. Any ideas? Hold on. There are so many yellow objects in the world. I'd better do some research. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you need a clue. Watch this. I've completed a dissertation on colors, but I still don't get it. I should go on a field trip. Sammy, wait! I'm almost done here. Fellows, can you help our slime with guesses? Yeah, finally I figured it out. It's the sun wearing a hat. La, 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 Are you la, sure about that? Here, take a closer look. Just kidding. I know it's a pineapple. Ow! Help! Are you okay? Where did that soap come from? I forgot it after cleaning. Since we have a sponge, let's do a cool hack with it. Interesting! I want to participate too. Hop! Thanks! Uh, now almost all the colors are on a palette. And pink? Where is pink? That's right. We need some pink paint, too. Ow! That tickles, Sue. Stop it! Are we ever going to paint? Or keep joking around? Ugh. Let's get to it. What about the sun? Where's the sun? Here it is. It's coming up, and you guessed it right. This will be a mesmerizing sunset. Here's the sunshine you've been dreaming of, Sammy. It's almost perfect. Add the sun's reflection in the water. <laughs> Got it, boss. It's 
done! So lovely. I'll definitely hang this picture over my bed. Where is it? Is all the paper gone again? Now show me your modeling walk. Yeah, like this. We should go to the Paris Fashion Week. Sammy, what is this? Did you use all paper? Oh yeah, I used it to make costumes. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you all, I'm so excited too. Waiting for kudos from you. By the way, Sue, you can draw on this. Seriously? The toilet paper, I'm not gonna draw on it. You have no sense of humor, Susie. How about this? It seems like my only option. Okay, let's try drawing on plastic. What would it be? I am sorry, but I need this marker too. I guess it's time to put my secret hack to work. We need lots of paint. Now I'll take the second plastic sheet. This picture is going to be lit! But we're far from being done. I've got a couple more hacks up my sleeve. You can draw so many different patterns this way. Oh, great. Now we're out of paint. Help! I have an idea. Huh? Thanks for your help, Sammy. Whee! Our stocks are full now. Cool. I will show you how to paint a pink flamingo using the palm print. That's a hack Sam taught me when he accidentally got into paint himself. Ah, uh, uh, look! I'll be your flamingo model. <laughs> okay, the model has landed on the wrong foot. Let's doodle together, shall we? Then I'm in. Stop. Where's my brush? Here. Thanks. Now give me that paper. Sam, you've been hiding this from me. We'll draw a clear outline using this marker. Look at me. Guess what part you forgot to draw? No way! I finished it while you were changing. Our flamingo is ready. That was great. Ah, help, Sue! We need backup. Sammy, what's wrong? It's time to say goodbye, that's all. Did you prank me? Come here. You asked for it. <laughs> Do you know how to trace any figure? Turn the lights on. Shine the shadow on the table and put your marker to work. No lines will be hidden. This way we can draw anything we want. We've got a cute little goat on a mountain. Now it's time to color it. These colors are so bright. The important thing is to color everything thoroughly. And it's done! For this new hack, let's make a triangle out of masking tape. Just be creative and forget about the paintbrush. Let's add green blobs right under the blue ones. These colors match great together. Add some bits of yellow to make it brighter. Now take a comb and start combing the paint. Yep. I said what I said. Check out these beautiful zigzags. But here's more. We will add orange blobs to our palette. Let's move on to the red row. Take the comb again. For the very last row, we used purple. Finally, let's get rid of the masking tape. Remove it carefully. Don't smear the drawing. I 
love perfectly even edges. If you get two felt-tipped pens, why not mix them together? They will swap their colors. Wow! We have a multicolor marker now! Let's try it on this unicorn. Check out how the colors have changed! Add different colors and shades. It's so magical. The unicorn is happy being a part of this, too. We are almost done with this smiling face. Such a cutie! Let's do a hack with masking tape and markers. Just place them in a row and wrap them tight. Here comes the fun part! We draw with all the markers at once. This makes a perfect rainbow. For the final hack, let's tape a piece of paper to the table. And sharpen the crayon over it. Let's use different colors. Now smudge the whole thing with your finger. Then draw the second part of the picture in the same way. And again, we're using our magic finger. This hack helps you to create incredible patterns. It's so cool! A real, like northern, lights over the mountains. But there's something missing. Let's draw a moon. This time we need only white crumbs. Add some crumbs on the opposite side, too. Smudge it again. The stars and comets are ready. So we like to come up with ideas that are funky. And roll and stretch. That <laughs> look great. And roll and stretch. And that are fun to make. Oh, and roll and stretch. And that's exactly what this make is all about. Yes, it's not an exercise class. Oh, no. This is the brilliant fingertips rollout writing. Have a look here, look. You can see my name in small letters. But if we then take a rolling pin and give it a little roll, the more you roll, the more the letters will stretch. Roll and stretch. It looks fantastic, and once you've rolled out your stretchy writing, you can make it into all sorts of things. How about a nameplate to go on your door? Just stick it up, and then everyone will know whose room it is. And we give rolled out writing a fingertips difficulty rating of two. Nice and easy, so get rolling and stretching. First of all, you need to get your fingertips on some oven-baked clay, which you can buy in most art and craft shops, and you need two different colours. So first of all, take a ball of clay about this size, and you want to roll it into a thick sausage. This will be the background colour of your sign. Now, to make the stretchy letters, use your other colour of oven-baked clay and roll it out into thin sausages like this. Then, get yourself a blunt knife and just cut off little bits to actually make the letters like that, and then spell the word. Now I'm going to go for fingertips, so let's start off with the F. And it's also a good idea that you really push these letters into the clay, that way when you roll it out, the letters won't stick to your rolling pin. And then just carry on with the rest of the letters. And when they're all done, get your rolling pin and gently and slowly Roll your sausage out flat. And look at that, it's a great effect. Already you can see the letters being stretched out. So keep rolling with your rolling pin. And when you're happy with the look of your sign, you can cook the oven baked clay. Just put it on a baking tray and cook it according to the instructions on the packet. Now, when it's cooked and cooled down, it will be hard like this. And to give it a nice shiny finish, use some varnish and paint your whole sign. Now, when you've covered the whole thing, Allow it to dry and then stick some card or foam that you can get from a craft shop on the back. And your final thing you need to do is get some of these sticky tabs. Stick one there, one there. And now you can stick it to your door. Just about there. Now this is such a cool idea. You don't just have to use it to make door signs. 
No, why not have a go at making badges using fingertips rolled out writing? Just attach a safety pin to the back. You could also personalise your school books or a diary if you've got one. And how about trying different coloured oven bake clay and making different shapes by just chopping around the letters? Or well, check out this rolled out writing desk plaque. You think this is about you, don't you, Stephen? Stephen! No sign of him. <laughs> sign of him. <laughs> Oh, brilliant! We're in Australia! <laughs> oh, and look, there's an aquarium. How exciting. It'll be full of lots and lots of creatures that live under the sea. Let's have a look. <laughs> look! Look at all the jellyfish! Wibbly, wobbly, and wonderful. And they've just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making this delightfully drippy jellyfish family. Let's make it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Now we'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Now, who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr Maker. I'm Chloe. Oh, hi, Chloe. I can help you. Fantastic. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. Oh, great. Chloe is on her way to help us make our picture. But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> Oh, fantastic! The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we can make our picture by using these arty things. Some paper or card. <laughs> some paint. <laughs> some water. <laughs> some plastic pots. <laughs> Some brushes, a pen, and last but not least, my polka dot pants. My polka dot pants? Wait a minute, bit scrubs! How did you get here? Oh dear, look, we don't need my polka dot pants at the moment, but we do need some stickers, okay? So you take these back. Oh, well done, Scraps. Ah, thank you very much. We've got some stickers. Great. We should have everything we need. Except it feels like something's missing. Hmm. Do you know what it is? Hmm. I'm here, Mr Maker. Chloe, of course! Well done! Thank you so much for coming. Now you're just in time to make our picture. Like this one here. It's a drippy jellyfish family. Now this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some newspaper or some old paper first. And actually, Chloe, I think we should put some aprons on. So you lead the way! <laughs> <laughs> we look great. Now, Chloe, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Brilliant! Let's get making. Now, to start, we're going to make a very special painty mixture. Now, can I have a cup, please? That's it. Our painty mixture is going to be made up of half paint. And half water. And now we need to take a brush and mix it all together. Then do the same with your other paint colours. Now take a splodge of your first colour and splat it onto a large piece of paper. That looks good. And now it's time to do a second splodge in a different colour. Chloe, why don't you grab the yellow there and why don't you do a yellow splodge about there? Now keep going until you've got a few splodges in different colours. 
and you can paint as many jellyfish as you like. Now for the really exciting part. Whilst the paint is still wet, we're going to gently lift up the paper and let the paint drip. Ooh. Now it doesn't matter if the different colours all drip into each other, because that all adds to the effect. And when you're happy, leave it to dry. <laughs> and now we're going to draw around all of the jellyfish to make sure they really stand out. You can even add extra details, like a wiggly smile. Now, they're missing something, Chloe. What is it? Eyes. That's right. So let's make some jellyfish eyes. If you grab those stickers over there, now can you draw some black dots in the middle of those stickers, please? Finished. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Chloe. We've got our eyes, and now we can stick them on. <laughs> We've finished our picture, Chloe. It's a funny family of drippy jellyfish. And if you enjoyed that, why not try these other ideas too? What about a giant drippy octopus with coloured stickers on its tentacles? Or you could even try some drippy seahorses with drippy manes and curly tails. Oh! <gasps> Look where we are! We're in Brazil! Oh, what a beautiful, exciting place. There must be so much to see. Let's have a look around. <laughs> Brazil is full of amazing things to look at. The brilliant beaches, the tropical flowers, the fantastic trees. And you know what? These terrific trees have just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making a colourful, rainy rainforest picture for a really great effect. Let's make it! <laughs> we'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> hello, mini makers. Who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker Matilda. Oh, hello, Matilda. I can help you. Oh, that's great news. Everyone else, thank you very much. Oh, fantastic. Matilda is on her way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we need some arty things to help us make our picture. We'll need some thick card. <laughs> a water sprayer and of course we'll need one more thing that's right we'll need a boomerang a boomerang we don't need a boomerang it's grabbed i found this boomerang in australia didn't i i don't need it right now i'll, I'll just get rid of it okay here we go what we do need are some felt tip pens could you find some please oh thank you oh. whoa what a catch, eh? <laughs> wow. Oh, well done, Scraps. Lots of felt tip pens. Let me take those. Open up. That's it. Off you go. We've got some felt tip pens. Excellent. We've got everything we need. <laughs> Although it does feel like something's missing. Do you know what it is? Oh, um. Uh, uh. I'm here, Mr. Maker. Of course, Matilda, it's you, my friend. Oh, it's lovely to see you. You're just in time to help me make our picture. It's a rainy rainforest picture. Very colourful. Are you ready? Yes. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, Matilda, this picture is going to get wet and it can get a little bit messy. So it's a good idea to put down some old paper or some newspaper first and I think we should put on an apron, don't you? Yes. Yes, I think so. Right, this way. Excellent. Well, we look great, don't we? Yes. Right, let's get a big piece of card like this. Now, Matilda, this needs to be card because it's going to get very wet. 
We're also going to use felt-tip pens. Now, could you pass me a felt-tip pen, please? Ah, thank you. I think we should test out this felt-tip pen first, so I'm just going to take a little piece of card like that, and I'm going to write my name, Mr Maker. Now, when this pen is sprayed with water, something magical happens. Now, I'm going to put that in front of you, Matilda. Why don't you take the water sprayer and spray the pen with water? Well done. If I just take that, we can see all the colours have smudged. That is a great effect. And that was a really good test as well, Matilda. I think we're ready to draw our picture. I'm going to start off by drawing some terrific trees. Begin by drawing trunks and branches like this. What else shall we have in our rainy rainforest picture? Flowers and leaves. That's a great idea. And how about we add some scribbly loops at the top of our picture to make some dangling vines and creepers? All right, then, let's get drawing. Make sure you add lots of different details in different colours. And keep going until your picture's finished. Instead of rain, we're going to use our water sprayer. Now, ask an adult to help you find one of these. Make sure it's clean and that it's filled with water, because this is going to be the rain in our rainy rainforest. All right, then, Matilda, let it rain! Look at that, Matilda. Now, what's happening? Smudging. That's right. All the colours are smudging. Does that look good, Matilda? Yes. I think it might be a good idea if we now pick up the card and just let the water drip down the picture so all the colours run. And when you're happy with your picture, leave it to dry. <laughs> it's a brilliant rainy rainforest picture. And if you enjoy that, why not try these other ideas too? You could make a wonderful waterfall with lots of watery plants around a bright blue lake. Or you could even make a brilliant volcano with plumes of smoke and watery lava. Why don't you try one of those ideas today? Thank you so much for your help, Matilda. We, we made, made it. it! High five! Now that's a fantastic effect. Well done, Matilda. Huh?